Okay, this is the production budget question from the 2014 paper. So I have to prepare a production budget, raw materials purchase budget, and a production cost or a manufacturing budget. So the production budget should start with the amount I want to sell. Uh, I take away my opening stock because I already have it made. And I'll add on my closing stock. Because that's extra stuff that I need to make, and what's going to be left is my production. So it says over here we're going to sell 11,000 units. So my sales is going to be 11,000 units of micro and 6,500 of Excel. My opening stock. Stock finished goods are 800 and 550. So that's minus 800 that I'm taking away because I've already made it. And take away 550 for the Excel because I've already made those. Uh, top of the question, uh, let's see, all stocks are to be reduced by 20% from the opening level. So I'm taking 20% away. So um, my closing stock then here is going to be 20% less than 800. So that's 160, 20%. So take it away, you get 640 is my closing stock. Oh, sorry, wrong figure. So minus 800 there. So my closing stock is going to be 640. And for here, 20% of that is 110. Uh, so 440 is my closing stock. So my production is going to be adding up my, my sales minus my opening stock and plus my closing stock. And then for Excel, it's going to be the opening stock. Uh, Take away the closing stock and add. So I take away the open, the open stock. Uh, sorry, sales less the open stock plus the closing stock, and it gives us our production. So now my raw materials purchase is how much I'm going to, how many kilos, or it could be square meters or yards. I'm going to have to buy a raw materials, and then I'll multiply that by its price to get its raw materials cost. So I start my production. Okay, so I'm making that for uh, micro and for Excel, I'm making that. Now the reason why I've added extra columns is I need to look at the material X I'm going to have for uh, micro and the material Y I'm going to have for micro. And then the material uh, X I'll need to buy to make my Excels and material Y I'll need to buy to buy my Excels. So, I need to look at my kg per unit of each. So when I make my, if I look over here, when I make my x's, I'm sorry, my micros, I need six and five. So it'll be six of that and it'll be five of that. When I make my excels, it's four and seven. So four and seven. Oh, wrong place. So now. Um, so I need to multiply those to find out the total amount of kilos I need to get to make my uh, kilos of X to be able to make that number of units. So I multiply that by 6. I multiply the same number by 5. And then for my XLs, I'll be multiplying the 6390 by 4 for my Xs. And the 6390 by 7 for my Ys. So then I'll need to work out the total amount of material um, X I'll need to buy and the total amount of material Y I'll need. Okay. So this is the amount I'm going to use. So my usage for X is going to be the amount of X for producing my micro plus the amount of X to produce my uh, XL. For material Y, it's going to be the amount of material Y to produce my micro plus the amount of material Y to produce my XL. And all of these, remember, are kgs in this question. So I need to then take into account my opening closing stock. So I take away my uh, opening stock. And I'm just going to put an ORM for raw materials and I'll add my closing stock of raw materials. For these stocks up here, they were stocks of finished goods. So I just put an FG up there beside that. So we don't get confused when we're doing later on the rest of the question. So 
Um, now I'm looking over here for my kilo. So the stock of raw materials is the beginning of 7,000 and 5,000. So I have minus 7,000. I don't need to go and buy that because I already have it in Material X. And I already have 5,000 kilos of uh, Material Y. Now, the prices are going to be 2 and 4, so I'll take that into account. But what happens to my closing stock and uh, all stocks, that means finished goods and raw materials can be reduced by 20%. So 20% of 7,000 is 1,400. So 5,600 is my closing stock. 20% of that is a grand, so 4,000 is my closing stock. So that means that my uh, the amounts that I need to purchase is going to be adding all those together. So my opening stock taken away from my uh, usage and I'm closing stock. And again, that's kgs, just so I'm, I don't think it's money of some kind. So that will give me the total amount of kgs I need for material Y. Okay, then I'm just going to need to work out from that my cost. So I'll uh, multiply it by the cost per kg for the two. So the expected prices during 2005 are this. Now up the top it says, uh, it might say here what the costs were at the beginning. That's an opening stock cost, but this is the cost during the year. So it's two and four. So two and four euros each. So then the cost, and then we'll get a total cost. So the cost is going to be kilos, employed two for material X, and then uh, for material Y. So that times four. Oh, that's wrong. Uh, no, so that is. Okay, um, so my total cost then is going to be uh, my material Y added to my material X. So that's the total amount of money, and I'm just going to label it. Okay, so that's my production budget. So now I need to work out my production cost, my manufacturing. So this is where I'm going to add all of my costs together. Okay. So. Uh, what different costs do I have? So I've got materials, I've got labor, I'd have uh, variable overheads, and I've got fixed overheads. So materials, I've already worked that one out, so that's uh, 507, so my label. So I need to do a labor budget so that I can get the total labor cost. So my labor budget, I'll have my, um, well, it's going to widen that so it's easier to see. So I'm going to make that four centimeters. Okay. So labor budget, I start off with my production like I did with my raw materials purchase budget. I'll have uh, micro, and I'll have Excel. So this is the cost for me of producing micro and producing Excel. Okay, uh, and this is what I'm trying to work out, the cost in labor terms. And then I'm gonna end up with the total there. So uh, the production is to make my uh, micro, I'm, I have 10,000 units of micro, Excel, I'm going to be making 6,000. Okay, so uh, I'll multiply that by um, hours per unit. And it says over here that it's seven hours for micro and eight hours for Excel. So seven and eight. So that's going to give me the total of hours. So it's going to be at the production times seven for, for the micro and the production times eight 
for the Excel. So that's going to give me the total number of errors is going to be those two added together. So that's the total number. I'm just going to label it errors. Then I'll need to get the cost. So uh, cost, what I think we call the labor rate, the skill labor rate. Skill labor rate is um, 12 euros per hour. So labor cost is 127,000 hours multiplied by 12 euros. So that, then we'll go in over here. So there's my labor cost. So variable overheads. So it's in the bottom, uh, the bottom here. Um, overhead costs are five euro per skill labor hour for variable. So here's the total number of labor hours, 127,000. So multiply that by five. So variable area overheads is going to be 127 times five. Fixed overheads, it says 184,400. So uh, sorry, 180,400. So there's no change in that. Just put that figure straight in there, and that will give me a total cost. So I add up my four different costs. Okay. The next thing we're asked to do, just down the bottom of the question, prepare, we've done A, B, and C now, prepare a budgeted trading account, okay? So if we just do the layout of a budget trading account. So we'll start with sales, and then we'll have opening stock, Of raw materials, sorry, of finished goods, and then we'll add to that production cost instead of purchases because we're not buying any goods that we're making our own goods, and then we'll take away our closing stock of finished goods. So our sales comes from our sales budget. Of uh, if we have done a sales budget, we haven't, so we'll have to quickly do it now. So we're selling. Um, what is at the top here? We had the amount we're going to sell. Actually, we have it in this question here already. So our sales is 11,000 times. Now, let's just have a quick look. Top of the question. We're going to sell micro 240 and Excel at 300, and there's the amount we're going to sell. So. Says. Um, so that's a micro 11,000 times 240, and then we'll add uh, 6,500 for the Excel, and we'll sell that at 300 each. So that's the total money in sales. So my opening stock. My opening stock of finished goods is these two numbers multiply them together. So 550 then multiply 150 as well. So equals um, 800 units uh, times 130 each. And then we add uh, 550 units times 150 each. That's my opening stock. My production cost. Already worked that out. Here I get up here, so add those two together. My closing stock. Now, what does it say down here? Do, 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 do. So, stock at the beginning of the year, stock at the end of the year, production overheads. Now, um, the budgeted cost of Micro Excel is 160 and 184, and that's for the ones that are left over. So the amount of ones that are left over is my, if I go up here to, this is my opening stock. I'm going to have 20% less than that. So I had 640 and that was 440. So my closing stock is going to be uh, 640 micros multiplied by, it says down here, 160 each plus uh, 440 excels and the excels are 
184 each. So that's my closing stock. So my cost of sales is going to be this figure minus my closing stock. And then my gross profit then is going to be my sales, my expected sales minus my cost of sales. Okay, that's the basis for the question. I hope that makes a bit of sense.